Hi, this is Simon Upstall, and this is just a very quick follow-up to this title tutorial because I realised that I made a mistake in how I originally set up the project. And right at the beginning, what I did was I made a clone, and I made a clone of my original logo style, when what I should have done is make a clone of the matte group itself. So let me just explain why that's important and how to fix it. So the, the object of the exercise is to be able to put any sort of object into this group and the whole project will update. So I'm just going to do that by creating a simple circle here. And as you can see, it's not looking as it should. And that's because of this issue with the way that I've made the clone. So all we're going to do is we're going to select the two clones that I made. So that, that's the first one there in that indent group. And we're going to drag that matte group into that clone layer source well there. And there's another one down here in the glass group. Again, drag that matte group into the source well. And now I think you can see that we've got the effect working perfectly on this substitute image and we can swap out literally anything we want in here. We can come to the library and grab a generator such as uh, concentric shapes, bring that in, and you'll see that that applies it to the whole object correctly. So thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.